Well, folks, thanks for tuning in today to A Sportsman's Life. My buddy Jeff here is packing a pistol today. We like to do fun stuff, but we also like to eat game. <laughs> Pull that out. We're going squirrel hunting, and this is not, not really something that's a novelty. I mean, see the long barrel on that thing? We've been shooting it up to about 25 yards. Absolutely lethal. We're going to do something a little different. We're looking for, a, I want to make a pot of squirrel stew. Absolutely. I'm going to make a pot of squirrel stew. You bet. Jeff is going to harvest. We're going to get back and try to get on film Jeff shooting a squirrel or two of this thing. And if it sounds like a pie in the sky, it's not. It's going to happen. <laughs> so <laughs> We're going to do our best. We've all, we just got out of the woods, folks, and these squirrels are rutting. If you think white-tailed deer are the only thing that rut, well, look at one boar squirrel chasing three. Yep. You know, no, but there, there's just tons of squirrels. So we're pretty confident we're going to go get us the makings of a Brunswick stew, let's call yeah, it. Yeah, we, we took a walk in the woods and there were squirrels chasing squirrels everywhere. And it's like, all right, hold on. It's time to do a squirrel hunt. So That's good. we're packing our little pistol. We're just going to give it a try. I think that'll be kind of fun. We're just going to just go enjoy an absolutely gorgeous day here. And uh, let's, uh, let's go see what we can let's do. Let's do it. Well, it's going to happen. So let's go get it. I'm, all right. I'm very confident. <laughs> Folks, we'll be back. We'll be chasing squirrels here in just a minute. Yeah. Stick with us. A couple of big old fox squirrels. All right, let's uh, come okay, on let's, over here. Come on, let's get in here. All right, folks, and welcome back to the show. What do you think, buddy? This man has killed two, and actually, right, right here. I mean, these these squirrels, as you can tell, these are boar squirrels, and there was one south squirrel that they were chasing. Yep. Now these are, for, for our uninitiated squirrel eaters, these are our dumpling squirrels. Uh, we're gonna make some stew out of these, but these are not frying squirrels. You could pressure cook them. Yep. And then uh, put some flour and, cook, and uh, you know, fry them with a skillet, with a lid. But these are gonna make some really good squirrel stew. And big old squirrels. Big these, old butterballs, aren't they? Man <laughs> alive, I'm telling you. Fat as a sow. <laughs> Well, a boar, I do believe. A boar? <laughs> yeah. A boar, yes sir. Well, Jeff, let's get these things. I don't know, we might want to try to get a few let's, more. Let's, yeah, let's truck along here. We're just kind of walking through the woods here slowly, folks. And these these squirrels, are, as Luke alluded to, they're, they're mating. I mean, they're in their breeding season as well. And we're seeing squirrels everywhere. 
And yep. so we're gonna we're gonna continue our adventure, yeah. and we're gonna get several more of these, and we're gonna have make a show of it, huh? You bet you. We're gonna, and then the the, the uh, finishing product or the end result will be some really really good squirrel stew. So let's do it. All so right, folks. Let's go get some more. You want to? Yeah. Let's take a commercial break. We'll be back with more squirrel action here on the Sportsman's Life. Well, folks, it is Luke Clayton, and I want to show you something right here that I am very very proud of my gearhead bow. I've taken a couple of hogs with it and I'm deer hunting. I'm down at the Bucket Bass Ranch at a buddy of mine's and I'm going to be deer hunting. Let me show you something here. Now, this is the coolest thing in the world and I am the first time I have ever shot a bow where you, with a shoot through riser. I'm going to look right at you here. There's a riser here there's a riser here. Look at the arrow on this gearhead bow, right in the middle. And if you think that doesn't make a difference, you know, all for many, many years, me and I guess every other bow hunter been shooting one side of the riser or the other. This thing shoots straight through. Folks, check them out online. This is the bow that I hunt with, and I've got a lot, I love it, lots of confidence in it. Gearheadarchery.com. All right, folks, we're back. Got the pistol here. We got a squirrel up in a tree over here. So Luke and I are gonna go get set up, sneak up up on this guy, and see if we can't drop one more. So the squirrels are moving everywhere today. So this is awesome. All right, let's go get them. Yeah, buddy, there we go. <laughs> One more to add to the pile. Perfect shot. Come on in here. Yep, I'll tell you, bud. <laughs> and, uh, got him on film too, buddy. There we go. We've got three down now, and we're still we're seeing we're seeing plenty of squirrels. Yeah. Big old dudes too. I, I do see the the pot of stew, folks. You know, a lot of people <laughs> I hunt squirrels with a either a scope. 25 caliber Condor, or that's an Air Force Air Guns 25 caliber, or 22 with a scope. This man hunts them, hunts them with a long barrel 22 revolver, shooting long rifles in there. Yeah, that long barrel though, tends to be real accurate. I've noticed, and, man. And uh, all you gotta do is just, you know, you know your gun, obviously, you shoot it a bunch and yep. you get comfortable with it, and the end result is. Uh, Squirrel stew. Let me take this and hand you this and let's go get some more. What let's go think? get them. All right, bud. <laughs> Have you been successful in your hunts? If not, maybe you need to change some of the products that you're using. Today, I want to talk just a little bit about Texas raised hunting products. Luke and I use these exclusively and we use them because why? They work. Uh, number one, it's, it's paramount that you, you cover your scent. Uh, Texas raised hunting products makes Scent Guardian. We start with this product, we spray down, and it removes, completely eliminates any odor that you might be carrying into the woods with you. We start with this product, and they have an array of products for, for all hunting situations. Whether it's for buck scrapes, uh, they have the little canisters here, the buck DNA, we put these out, and the animals, I mean, it, they react to these. We've got some uh, sow seduction that um, we use, brings in, both boar and sow, they work extremely well. Uh, I encourage you folks to, to get out there and you know, try some of these products. Use what works. We have been very successful using these products. Again, it's Texas Raised Hunting Products. You can find them at TexasRaisedHuntingProducts.com or just as easy to reach out to CatfishRadio.org to learn more information about these products. Well hello my friends it's your old buddy Luke Clayton and it's time to put those squirrels that Jeff Rice killed with that long barrel pistol to work. We're gonna put them in a, in a cast iron pot. Now normally I use a, a Dutch kettle but I have used this old skillet I'll hold it up here so many years that it holds a lot of stew. We're gonna make some squirrel stew and I'm gonna hone the camera in and I'm kind of a one-man show out here today but I'm going to put the camera in close and give you an idea of all the ingredients that we're going to use. It's really simple. Squirrel meat is really, really good. I've cooked this meat down, boiled it down to where it's tender. 
and we're going to bone the squirrel out and just have squirrel meat rather than the, the whole bone in. Uh, this thinks it makes the stew a lot easier to, to eat, really. But uh, let me hone in on with the camera and show you all the ingredients that we're going to put in this squirrel stew. The squirrel will just be squirrel meat at this stage. It'll be already boned when you, when you actually see the, the finished product. Hi folks, it's your old buddy Luke Clayton. You know, usually I use a Dutch kettle, a bigger Dutch kettle, but I'm not making a whole lot of, of squirrel stew here. We're putting three squirrels, the pieces of squirrels, that are going to be boned out. So we're not going to have any bone in this. It's going to be just squirrel meat, which I like it that way. You don't have to worry about picking through the bones. Uh, so here's the ingredients right here that we've got uh, to put in the, in the uh, squirrel stew. I like a tomatoey squirrel stew, so we're going to put a can of crushed tomatoes in there. Uh, big onion, I'm going to chop this onion up and put it in there. About three, about three ribs of celery, that'll do it. Uh, you can put more celery if you like it. I love celery, but that ought to do it. And an Anaheim or a Poblano pepper, love these things. And actually I've got one, uh, some dried chipotle pepper that I'm going to shake into this. Actually some uh, jalapeno that I dried myself made chipotle peppers out of it. So we're going to shake a little of that in there for heat. And uh, I went ahead and sprung for the, the baby carrots. You know, we're not going to have to chop all these carrots up. So the carrots will go in there. Some mixed vegetables. You know, we've got corn and beans and peas in this. Uh, when, of course, the squirrel meat will be already cooked, tender, deboned. And then I'm going to, all these ingredients, they don't need that long to cook, probably 30 minutes for all this. Uh, and then I'm going to add some cubed up potatoes. I think potatoes are a must. Now, of course, I was raised on rice. We're going to put some, you can use long grain rice, whatever kind of rice you like. Toss in a little rice on your, your squirrel stew. I think that'll add a little bit to it. So. Uh, squirrel meat in. We're going to add all the vegetables now. And this is my old, my old skillet. You've seen it on a lot of these shows, but it holds a lot of volume, actually. Normally, I would use my, one of my Dutch kettles, but I thought, you know, we'd just use this lid. And the amount of stew that we're going to make, this will be just right. So stick with me. Um, we're going to cook all this down. Now, I'm going to give you a close-up shot of the finished product, and we'll put some in a bowl. And I wish we could somehow magically, you know, transform you here. But I think all those naysayers that say, ah, squirrel, Luke's talking about eating squirrel. You can't eat squirrel. <laughs> I bet I'll change your mind. So let's start cooking. And folks, this old rooster knoweth not where he's at right now. He could be in trouble here next time we get ready to make some chicken stew. But let's get right over here. I've got to have those vegetables. I thought you might want to take a look at these vegetables. All chopped up and ready for the... Put in this cast iron right here for about 45 minutes. That squirrel meat will be real tender in just a little bit. Probably another 15 minutes on the squirrel meat. And Rooster, you don't know where you're at, buddy. Hi folks, it's your old buddy Luke Clayton. And this ain't your grandpa's pump-up air gun. This is the Texan made by Air Force Air Guns, and it's the most powerful production air gun in the world. Uh, a few years ago, I started shooting these probably, well, when they first came out, I actually had a chance to test. They didn't really need any testing, but to shoot one of the 10 prototypes when they first came out. Now, this is the improved model. This tank pressures up to 3,625 PSI. This gun will develop, I believe it's five, uh, 750 foot-pounds of energy shooting a 520 grain bullet. So this is your big daddy of air guns. If you want to get into hunting or shooting air guns, you know, you don't have to shoot a 520 grain bullet. I shoot a Nielsen specialty ammo bullet that's, I think it's uh, 340 grains. But here you go. Check these out online. Uh, you can go to airforceairguns.com and check them out, but this is the one I've hunted with a lot. I've probably killed 30 hogs and a bunch of exotics, and I'm going to get after the deer here in Texas this year with it. Airforceairguns.com Well, friends, here is our finished product, a big old heavy skillet full of squirrel stew. 
Now, let's move it. You'll see some rice in this. To me, a stew has to have a little bit of rice. But this is, I, of course I tested this before I showed it to you. I wanted to make sure we were on track with this. i tell you what, I wish you could be with us. Because if you could, I would serve you up this bowl right here of squirrel stew. Let's put you another. Folks, don't let people tell you that squirrel is not good eating. Now, when I was a kid up in East Texas growing up, we had squirrel often. Although, there were not nearly as many squirrels back then as there are now because, you know, deer and wild hogs kind of, most people hunt them. But do not overlook the squirrel. You can see that the, if you look really close, you'll see some squirrel, little chunks of squirrel meat. But it, the squirrel meat is really, really tender. There we go, folks. Squirrel stew. Well, folks, that wraps our show up for today. Uh, this is the makings of our stew. Jeff here, the sick shooter. Uh, we don't see this happen very often, but uh, that's the way he hunts squirrels. That'll work, Jeff. That'll uh, work, you betcha. Uh, <laughs> already, you know, I knew what was going to happen, so we've got plenty of vegetables yep. back at camp. Yep. Let's make some stew. It's going to take, I'm going to put these in a pressure cooker and cook them for about probably 45 minutes. And then uh, I think they'll be real tender. A couple of big old boar fox squirrels right here. Yeah, we got one more sitting over there, so we got three to cook. Yeah, so. right. I, I can only, these suckers. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, first off, we got to turn these things into some squirrel meat. So go over to the skinning rack and that's right. Let's uh, skin them out and uh, get with it. Jeff, folks, this has been a fun show. Oh, yeah. Folks, thank you so much for joining us. This has been a lot of fun. Chasing squirrels in the woods, man, with a with a 22 uh, pistol. It doesn't get any better than that, my friend. Challenging. <laughs> lots and lots of fun. Folks, we'll be with you next week. Make sure and tune in. We'll be next Friday. We'll be a fresh episode. For all of us at A Sportsman's Life, be safe in the outdoors.